Brian John from Cruiser Customizing with this sprucing up the rear tip of the week. Most motorcycles come from the factory with a really large and bulky turn signal and license plate assembly. Today I'm going to take a minute and share with you some great options in order to make the rear end of your motorcycle shine. Make it an attractive piece instead of something that you want to shy away from. There are several models of motorcycle out there like the Raider, the M109, the VTXC model that have the license plate and turn signals mounted just below the fender. This gives you limited access or limited possibilities when it comes to making modifications but Kuriakin and Barron's have come to the rescue for those particular motorcycles. This particular piece replaces the sub bracket of the Raider and then has a nice chrome piece that bolts right on over the top. Case of the BTXC model, part number 9256 is a great option. This completely takes all of the black plastic away from the back of the motorcycle and replaces it with a brilliant looking chrome piece. Barron's has done a very similar thing for the M109. This piece here bolts right in place and your stock turn signals or any aftermarket signals that you'd like to place on it bolt right in the hole and completely clean up the back end of the M109. The retro models of the VTX as well as the Road Lighter and Stride Liner have a similar stock mounting platform. The license plate sticks straight up and it's really nice to be able to take an assembly, remove it and lay the plate down. This 9171 piece from Kuriakin fits all the retro VTXs all Harley Davidson, there's absolutely zero modification necessary. What happens is you have three holes in the stock fender, or you drill your own three holes. You then set this on and screw it in from the back. You then set your plate on top, curve it, and then replace the license plate frame. This is a great way to spruce up the back end of your, of your motorcycle if you want the lay down on your fender license plate look. For the Roadliner Stride Liner, Barron's has this kit right here that has three bolts that go directly down through the fender in the stock mounting holes. This so allows you to have a curved lay down license plate look that hugs the fender with zero modification. Now that we talked about these two bolt on pieces that lay the license plate down in its stock location, let's talk about the relocation to the rear swing arm or drive shaft. This 8005 from Kuriakin is a side mount plate. This here allows you to have a model specific mounting stud that would then mount to your motorcycle and then just would bolt to it. It's also lighted so you have no problems when it comes to the law and your plate not being lit. Staying in theme with turn signals and license plates, let's talk about this piece of Kuriakin called the 9197. This fits every Yamaha Roadstar and mounts extremely simply. You go ahead and remove the turn signal brackets that are already on the Roadstar and this sits right into place. Absolutely zero modification necessary. Let's now jump one step deeper. The tombstone tail light from Kuriakin is really a neat piece that allows you to replace both your rear tail light as well as your turn signals. It has wiring for just about all applications. This replaces the rear tail light assembly and turn signals for all V-Star, Roadstar, and Vulcan models. Absolutely no modification is necessary. You remove your stock tail light, this one bolts up, and then you can choose to put on Kuriakin aftermarket turn signals. If you choose to mount your license plate in a different location, this bracket is simply removed by removing these two screws. And now, your license plate can get mounted anywhere you choose. These turn signals are part number 5032. What they're going to do is they're going to mount to the bottom of this tombstone, giving you this look right here. This 5032 can also be used in any application where your tail light is affixed and you're not going to be replacing it, but you like to put your turns on either a slightly curved or flat space. For example, this unit could bolt directly to my fender rail or directly into my fender if I chose to drill just two holes. It's that simple to make this piece work on just about any rear fender. If you like the location of your stock license plate and you don't want to move it and you don't want to lay it down, but you want to add additional turn signals to the side of it or move your turn signals from the stock location to where the license plate is, Kuriakin has recently come up with a universal piece that makes that extremely simple. Called the 3155. It's got a plate that mounts behind the license plate and then has mounting brackets that allow you to put any turn signal you want right next to your license plate. If you own a Honda and you want an even less expensive option, you have turn signal relocation brackets, both from HW as well as CWI. This one here goes to the 1100 Spirit, and these others fit just about every Honda model out there. Removing the stock hardware and adding one of these beautiful aftermarket accessories is a great way to add value, looks, and beauty to the rear end of your motorcycle.